ibtila, meaning that he reads a lot uh, from those things and the things that have happened in his time, and that he has uh, been with other scholars and is a companion of other scholars and is known to other scholars. This is very important. He has been with other scholars, is a companion of the scholars, and is known by other scholars. Qala Shafi'i, Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah says, the one who just gets his fit from the books, then he will lose the legislation. Just getting fit from books. Go in the book yourself and open it up and come with, a, come with me. This is not the way. Not to say that those brothers who read the certain books and, and alhamdulillah with the existence of cassette recorders and the like, we may have Ajrumiya explained by Ibn Thaymain. We may have Qawada uh, Arba, Usulu Thalatha, or Aqeedah Wasatiya, or Aqeedah Tahawiya, or Fatawa Hamawiya, or whatever the case may be explained, or Bulugu Maram. Then he uses that plus the Arabic language and reads the book and he gets the sharh explanation of the sheikh. And if he has any question, then alhamdulillah he can pick up the phone and he can, uh, if he has the Arabic language of course, then he can dial the number and ask the sheikh, did you mean this or whatever? Or if he, if, if the sheikh himself is not alive, one of his students, did you, did he mean this and that and whatever? This is not what he's talking about. He's talking about the guy who picks up the books and tries to go his own. How many times He's left upon his own, upon foolishness, and upon bitter, and upon that which is uh, foolish. How many times that's the case? Quote to, and he, he's, uh, before I get to that, statement of Shafi, he has a, we have a comment on the statement of Shafi, but nevertheless, the one who takes from the, uh, this is a good way of putting it, the one who takes from the books, Awraq, huh? And he, he's saying not to take from, from them by themselves, but he should have suhbat al mashaikh He should be a companion of the mashaikh And he should have some understanding. Huh? This shows the importance of taking knowledge from the scholars of our time. And how are we going to do this if we don't know who the scholars of our time are? Taking knowledge from the scholars of our time. How many of us have taken by these scholars of our time in their houses? How many? Most of us taste by preachers, preachers who are Muslims, or du'at, or people can talk well, or so on and so forth. But how many of us have tapes or cassette tapes of the scholars of our time? This is how the Salaf al work. They used to travel distances, long distances to get knowledge from a particular scholar on a particular continent or a particular area. Look at Abu Ayyub al-Ansari traveling to Uqba ibn Amr in Egypt just to take one hadith that he heard from him, which is hadith of covering your brother's faults. He traveled a month's journey to hear that. Sayyid Musayyib said, I used to travel night and day to get one hadith. He's talking about himself. In, I used to travel night and day to get one hadith. And here we have nine volumes of Bukhari sitting on a shelf in Sahih Muslim. And we had to pick them up and blow the dust off of them. We say Sunnah, 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 Sunnah. But the Sunnah is in one valley and we in another. Sunnah, we don't never read Bukhari. And the Sunni, and you never read Muslim. And the Sunni, you don't even pick up Riyad al Salihin. And the Sunni, you never finish Bukhari. And the Sunni, you never finish Sahih Muslim. What is this but madness? Qala Fawzan, Hafidhahullah, one of the great scholars of our time. He said, many of those who are trying to learn, just depend, just read the books. And claim that that's a good way to get the knowledge. He said, and they don't benefit from the scholars, but think that they don't need them. He said, hadha khata adheen, this is a great mistake. And it leads to a great, great danger. Because every book besides the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger, huh, has mistakes. It has that which is correct and that which is mistake, which is a mistake. It says that which is right and that which is wrong. And sometimes it has that which is good and that which is poison. So the one who is in the beginning stages of his knowledge, he's not able to distinguish. So therefore, it would be more harmful to him than benefit. 
He's not able to distinguish that which is beneficial from that which is harm, which is which is harmful, unless he goes to a muallim, a teacher who has some knowledge, who can show him what is correct in those books, what is correct in those books. He means by this that he can show him what is in those books that is nafi, that is beneficial, and that which is a mistake and harmful. He can explain, explain to him the ibarat, the expressions that are not clear, that are unclear. And, and if the knowledge was, he said, just taken from a book, our scholars, the Salaf, the Salaf would not have taken those great journeys and would not have expose themselves to so many dangers of traveling that day, those days, in the desert, at night, on a camel, 30 days, 30 days on a camel, highway robbers, scorpions, cobra, I mean, snakes, you know, dogs, everything. Why? To get the knowledge directly. So if you could just depend upon books, that's what they would have done. So this shows the importance of taking knowledge from the scholars. So now we have to talk about some signs that distinguish them from those who claim to be scholars. I mean, even though you have some distinct, some things that we distinguish, this will help more, inshallah ta'ala, bi'ibnillah. Min alamata ahl al-ilm al-nafi. From the signs of the people with beneficial knowledge, who are in fact the people of knowledge, huh? is that they don't see for themselves any station, any position. And yakrahum, they hate. Hiraha here means hate. Yakrahum bikulubihim ataskiyah. They hate that people purify them or praise them. Ataskiyah wal mat. Wala. And they do not have arrogance or pride over anyone. Listen to the qualities again. From their sign is that they don't see for themselves any special hal and circumstance. Any maqam and any position. And yakrahoon and they hate with their hearts to be considered righteous or for me to make tiskiyah for them or to make mud of them, praise them. And they don't see themselves as being better or above anyone. قال الحسن رحمه الله إنما الفقيه The other one who has fiqh الزاهد The abstinent one regarding the dunya He desires the akhirah The hereafter إنما الفقيه The scholar it's the one who abstains from the dunya, al-raghib fil akhirah, desires the hereafter, al-basir bidinihi, who has clarity in his deen, al-wadib ala ibarat rabbah. The one who is consistent in worshiping his Lord, and in one narration he says, al-ladhi la yahsad min fawqihi, he doesn't have hasad, for the one who's above him. وَلَا يَسْخَرْ مِنْ مَنْدُونَ And he doesn't make fun of those below him. وَلَا يَخَذْ عَلَى عِلْمِ عِلْمِ اللَّهِ أَجْرًا And he doesn't want any reward for the knowledge that he has been given from Allah. Look, رَحِمَكَ اللَّهِ رَحِمَكُمُ اللَّهِ Look, may Allah have mercy upon you to the statement وَيَقْرَحُونَ بِقُلُوبِهِمْ they hate with their hearts that anyone mentions them in a nice way, makes tasqiyah of them, or make mat praise of them. You can, this is a distinguishing matter, brothers. This is a alama, a sign that is known for the people who have knowledge. One of them, if they hear that he's being praised, and from the people runs away from them. Whereas those individuals who now claim knowledge love to be praised. Love to be, have the sadara, be up, up front. As Sheikh Nasir used to say, Hubbid loving to be out front, 
breaks the dhuhr.